I have not recorded a blog now in like four or five years, and I kind of feel like my talking to the camera skills have died on the vine in that time. They say you never learn, they say you never forget how to ride a bike, but as just evidenced, I clearly can. So we're gonna see how this goes. Wish me luck. So, I just released a video. That's exciting. And I've got more coming very soon. That's also exciting. So, the purpose of this video is to talk about the Doom Eternal project and sort of go over production process, things that have changed, things that I'm changing, and how the video series is going to continue going forward is the basic idea. So this video has been in production since summer 2020, just a couple months after Doom Eternal originally released. It is currently summer 2024, which means this video has been in production for four years. <sighs> so yeah, four years. It's been a while. So let's talk about some reasons why the video has taken that long. Um, number one, I am an insane person. And that's basically it. So I am a moron who decided, wouldn't it be a good idea to make a two and a half hour video essay about the writing in Doom Eternal, a topic no one except for me cares about whatsoever. And I was like, yes, that does seem like a good idea. And so I did it. The problem is, is that this video is way too big for the amount of time that I have. So my problem, this is something I've like come to terms with recently, um, is that I'm comparing myself like quality wise to the level of like, uh, H-Bomber guy, or JXE, or, you know, these people who are professional contrapoints, or people who are, like, professional YouTubers. I'm, like, trying to make a video that would be able to, like, stand next to their sort of thing, with the same quality and length and writing quality and production values and whatnot. Um, the difference is, between me and them, is that they do this shit full-time, and make lots of money that they can then reinvest into their own projects to speed stuff up in addition to working on it full time. I am currently attending college. I'm almost done with that. So I've been attending college the last couple of years. Uh, I work a part-time job on top of that. And I've got a fucking wedding videography business I'm trying to get off the ground. So, uh, and there's just, you know, the general random shit that pops up that can sometimes eat up days out of your life sort of thing. Just being a human, you gotta cook food, you gotta clean, and there are occasionally, like, problems with your car or whatever. So, just in the mix of all of that, I decided, hey, in my spare time that I have for fun, let's make a video like one of theirs that they make. And these are people who are famous for, like, oh, H Bomber Guy uploads once a year if you're lucky sort of thing. And he has people who help him and money to spend to help the project come along. And he earns lots of money from it. Like, and I'm doing this single-handedly in my spare time, uh, and I'm going to make like $10 off this video project. So I realized recently um, I'm insane, and I should not be holding this to the same quality standards as one of their videos. So that being said, I have decided to make a couple, um, what would the word be? I can't fucking think of the word. Uh, cuts? No. Exemptions? No, that's not the right word. Reductions? I've decided to fix some shit is the basic idea. I've decided to change things about the video project in order to get it out faster. So there are two big things that I've decided to let go of and just accept the fact that I'm not doing it even though I want to do it. Uh, I've just let it go. I'm not, it's not happening because it would take too much time. Um, first thing, easiest one to explain is their music. Um, I really like scoring video essays. I think my God Hand video is a great example of how much value having music playing throughout adds to the production value and the jokes you can make and just like the general vibe and tone of a video essay. So I really like scoring video essays, but uh, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to track down fucking two and a half hours worth of music for this project. So um, that was one of the big things holding me up. 
in editing is spending just hours and hours and hours trying to find songs that fit, uploading test versions to YouTube. Surprise, the song gets flagged for copyright because it's from a video game or an anime or something, and so I gotta take it down and find something else. Uh, it's a gigantic pain in the ass to put a score to a video essay. So I'm basically just not doing that. There are a couple of segments that are, um, like I had a specific song in mind, so it wasn't very difficult. Um, but the, the hard parts are just like the general bits where I'm talking about just random stuff and I've got to find a song that matches that or whatever. That's the part that's difficult. The parts work like, okay, I know the exact song I want to play in this section. Like in part two, there's a bit where I'm like comparing the holograms from Doom 2016 to Doom Eternal, and I wanted uh, the song Imitation from Monogatari to play while I'm talking about the other holograms. I knew the exact song I wanted, I could describe it, put it in, checked it, got it past YouTube shit, fantastic. So there are a couple of songs that will stay in the video project because they're already there and it would be a bigger pain in the ass to remove them at this point. But going forward, unless it's super fucking easy and obvious I know the exact song I want to put in, there's not going to be any music. Um, the other hard part with scoring a video about Doom Eternal is that the Doom music is... It, you can't fucking use it for a video essay. Like, with God Hand, I was able to, like, you know... The God Hand music I can have in the background as I talk over it, and it's mostly fine. Maybe you gotta do some reductions, because it's, like, loud rock and roll stuff, but for the most part, it works pretty well. Uh, Doom music, can you imagine me talking about just, like, random... So in the codex here, it says that this, but then you check this codex over here, and, it turn, and in the background, it's just like... -na 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 don't ever like it. Would be. <laughs> it doesn't fit at all. So I can't use any of the Doom music for this video. So just the whole, you know, easiest possible thing of just like pick the soundtrack of the game I'm talking about and use that uh, off the table. So I need to find songs from other things. And that's not going to happen. So yeah. So number one thing that's going away is I am uh, not scoring the video. Um, Number two thing that's going away is that I'm releasing this video in parts instead of all at once together. So this is not something that speeds up the video per se, because it's the exact same amount of work whether I release it all in one batch or, you know, by the, by the time I finish part 10, it's the exact same amount of work releasing it in parts or releasing it in one gigantic block. Um, the thing it does change is it makes it, it's like a mental victory, I guess. Uh, a really big problem that I've had working on this video is that it is just, it's such a big project. And one of the worst things I ever did, uh, one of the stupidest things I did working on this project is I decided to make a spreadsheet of where I could like enter in, okay, this much of, you know, the video is done. And then it would like do some math and spit out a like total completion percentage. So there were times where I would spend eight hours working on some audio and then I would finish that and be like, yes, fucking huge accomplishment. Got a huge chunk of stuff done. I'm so happy about that. I would pop over to the spreadsheet and I would enter how much audio I had done and the final like total completion percentage would change from like 52.1% to 52.9% after eight hours of work. And that was soul crushing, absolutely just heartbreakingly sad. I should not have made that spreadsheet. That's a total me problem. I'm the idiot here. Um, it really just helps to think of this as like 10 smaller projects instead of one earth shatteringly huge project. So, like, there have been months, like, in, you know, I say I've been working on the video for four years now. It's a huge over-exaggeration because uh, I've had lots of, lo loads of shit taking up my time in that time. And there have been months where I haven't been able to touch this project, basically, because, like, real life shit comes up. And there have been some months where I haven't touched the project because I got out of a, you know, I was in a flow state. Something came up that distracted me for a couple weeks. And then by the time I can get back around to it, it's just like, uh, I forgot where I left off and it's a huge project and I don't want to think about this right now. I'm just going to play Factorio instead. So really this is less of a will speed the video up and more of a will encourage me to work on it more, which will speed the video up. So instead of thinking it as one big project, break it down into smaller bite-sized chunks and it's much more... Uh, easy to work on, much more encouraging to work on, to spend eight hours on a video, and instead of jumping from 52.1% to 52.9%, you instead jump part three from 30% done to 70% done. That's much more encouraging, and it feels much better to, like, be making more clear progress towards the goal, basically. 
So yeah, I'm releasing a video in parts. Uh, I'm not happy about that because the video is not designed to be in parts. Um, my plan at the moment is I'm going to like finish all the parts and then once that's done, I'm going to just like combine them all again and then release one big video with like a complete edition with everything in it after everything else is done. So that final video will be the one that I'll actually be happy with and I'm actually not changing any of the script to reflect the fact that I'm releasing it in chunks because I want the big final video to be the complete finish, you know, the authoritative one basically. So uh, there are some bits in the script where I'm like, I'm about to do this thing and that'll just be in the next part and you'll have to deal with it. Use your imagination basically. Um, I don't think the video, the video is definitely not designed to be viewed in chunks. Uh, but it's just what's got to happen at this point because I want to get this video. The other thing that like really, really just like made me like, okay, Austin, you got to take a long look inside yourself and figure out what you're going to do about this fucking video is they released a trailer for the next Doom game like a month ago now. So the trailer for Doom the Dark Ages came out and I was like, I'm not going to have this video done and they're going to have released the next fucking game in the franchise. What do I do? So anyways, this shit's got to get done. And I think releasing it in parts will help you with that. So anyways, that's the basic idea. Uh, I'm not happy about these changes. I would prefer to have not had to make these changes, but I just like deciding not to score the video is going to save me like probably literally a hundred hours of effort. Um, and the decision to release it in parts will make it much easier to like work on it here and there and not feel like I need gigantic blocks of uninterrupted time to work on the project, which I think will also get it done faster. So anyways, hope you like it. Hope this will probably be one of the most controversial videos I've ever made because I'm dunking on Doom Eternal the entire time, which everyone loves, but you know. I mean, the gameplay is good. I agree with that. It's just the story is kind of atrocious. So anyways, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Well, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later. I forgot how to do that. I haven't done this in years. What am I doing? I'm just... Goodbye.